Hi there, Laura here, the founder of Get Organized HQ. And today I wanna share with you why I actually really strongly dislike something that is very popular in the organizing space, and that is OXO containers. Now, I wanna first say that I truly do love the look of the OXO containers. Like, it looks like it came out of a magazine. I've used them in multiple houses. The look is just gorgeous, beautiful, amazing. But here's the truth, and they're just not very functional. And I'm gonna tell you why, so you can, you can think before investing, because these OXO containers are a real investment, and I wanna make sure that you use your money wisely. Now, I'm not saying that they're absolutely terrible, like I'm still using them, but I am actively planning on another solution, and I'm not gonna leave you hanging. I'm going to tell you what other options you have. Uh, and what I personally plan to use instead. Uh, but let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, these containers are beautiful. I made these labels myself with my Cricut Joy, have tutorials for that. I love how they stack so nicely. Um, and just look beautiful. The other thing that I like about them, this is on the like pro column is how easy they are to open. So you simply tap the top of the lid, this pops up and you can like operate them one handedly. So this all looks good, but where do we start to go wrong? The first problem, and this one is a huge deal. So I have these in a lower cabinet just because I bake on this island right here and there's no upper cabinet. So, and my kids, they are now seven and nine, but they've, for years, they love to help me bake and I love to have the kids in the kitchen with me. And so, here's what happens. You're like, okay, I need some cocoa. Well, let's grab this. Uh-oh, it came off. They come off very easily, especially with powdered things. So like the baking powder, the flour, the cocoa, will just lift right off because what happens is the powdered ingredients kind of get in between the seal and the actual container and it, some of them lift off with ridiculous amounts of ease and we have had major spills happen because you're kind of holding it half by the lid and it just you know kind of falls off and so that's obviously not fun. The second problem is that they are actually not completely airtight and for some things it doesn't matter. For me, we bake pretty often. So like, I'm not gonna keep this sugar in there for a year. We're gonna replace it pretty often. But for some things that I wasn't using often, I would rather them be airtight. And also if I'm storing like crackers and things like that, after a while, they will go stale. That will not happen in your actual traditional brand name Tupperware. I could keep saltine crackers in an actual Tupperware or some other alternatives I'll show you for probably a year and it wouldn't go stale. Here, it'll be stale in three to four months. So I don't love that they're not truly airtight while I love the single-handed operation of them. Another thing about these OXO containers is that they are a little bit bulky. So the lid has a little bit of bulk to it. And so it is, you're not gonna be able to fit as many containers in one cabinet as you would with some of the alternatives. So that's something to consider, especially if you have a smaller kitchen, you're gonna be wasting a little bit of space with these. The other thing to note is that they are not as modular as some things. So what that means is like, they're a little bit stackable. So like, yes, I could stack this flour on top of the sugar and it does stack very nicely. There's like a little indentation there for it to go. So I love that. Um, and I'm very particular about my modular items. Um, however, this cocoa here, two of these will not fit side by side on this. So that is a real negative in my opinion, because if we had more size options and more modularity, ordinarily I would like to have the sugar here and then a cocoa and another thing similar in size to the cocoa right next to it, but that's not an option. Now they have more recently come out with these skinny ones. Uh, which I actually really do like this size, where, let's see, I'm not sure if they will fit on here. Where basically, yeah, it, two will fit on, but it's not ideal. Like it's pushing out a tiny bit and, you know, it's just not as ideal. They don't nest quite as much and the ridge is not quite as high as I would like. Like it is gonna slide if you tried to grab the sugar. Uh, these would slide off, like you wouldn't do that. Whereas with some 
they would stay secure and you could bring them down. So there's a little bit less modularity. So the fit just isn't quite as ideal. All right, so now that I've told you what I don't love, let's talk about some alternatives. I don't wanna leave you hanging. So the truth is, honestly, I haven't found the perfect alternative. If some company out there wants to make one, I am totally game. I'll be the first one to buy it, I promise. So there isn't something perfect. So there's really two best options that I've found. The first one is these are the home edit. I think they call them canister line from Walmart. Some pros, pretty cheap, definitely cheaper than OXO. So I love that, easy to get. Now my local Walmart didn't carry them, but very easy to order online. So I love that. Uh, other pros of this is that these are, and I do have an entire video on this home edit line if you want that, is that they are incredibly airtight and they are not going anywhere. I could have flour in here and I could do this and I promise you never ever is this thing going anywhere. So love that. Like I don't have to worry or lose any sleep about having crashes. It also is super secure because you'll see how it latches. So there's a latch on either side and, and even without the latches, very, very airtight seal. So like nothing is going stale. It's as tight as you can possibly get. One thing to note about that though is because of the way the seal is so airtight, there is a bit of an art, I will be honest, to putting these on. It doesn't bother me, my husband gets very annoyed. So what you can't do is you can't put down one side and then the other it has to be on a flat surface and you have to push down on the whole thing at once. Then you secure the latches and you're good to go. The other thing to note is these have very nice ridges. So I can pick this up by the bottom one and see how tightly that fits in there. It isn't going anywhere. So I love how they nest. I also love, I'm super picky about this. If you've uh, watched several of my videos, you know this. They are modular and the same height. And I love that. The uniformity that it gives when you can stack two up and it's the exact same height is something that is like an extra big bonus in my book. Also love the look of these. They're clear, they're modern. I could put the same kind of labels that I have on my OXO and they would look really nice. So that's a huge plus. The biggest negative to these is that this is the biggest size that they have. There's nothing in this one, but this is the biggest size and it will not fit an entire bag of flour. So if I wanted to use these for my baking things that I'm currently having my OXO, I couldn't. Like, I mean, I could, but I absolutely think it totally defeats the purpose if I decant my flour into a bin and then I still have to store a bag with a little bit of flour in it. Like, don't, don't like that at all. I wanna be able to decant my entire bag. I want no open bags of anything in my pantry. It's just a thing I have. I, it, it drives me nuts. I can have sealed bags that are ready to be like refilling it. So that's really the biggest negative. Um, it does fit nicely here this way too. I'll show you this. So they're very modular. So what I plan to do is for a lot of snacks and things in my pantry, I do plan to use these. And then what I plan to replace my baking ingredients with is actual Tupperware. So let's move these out of the way and let's talk about the actual Tupperware. And when I say actual Tupperware, what I mean is literal Tupperware brand. So over the years, Tupperware has become synonymous with, it's kind of one of those things like Band-Aid or Ziploc bag or something. It's become synonymous with just a storage container, but I mean actual Tupperware. And uh, this has been around for years and years and years. This is what I grew up with. And I would say the biggest con is just the appearance, the look of it. It's not nearly as modern and fun looking as those OXOs, but from a practicality standpoint, it is amazing, perfect. Uh, so unfortunately, um, I need to order these. I still don't have them, so I don't have all the sizes to show you, but they are very airtight. Um, the lids are fairly easy to remove like that. They are very modular in that this really gets on there and I can do this and so they're very modular. I wish I had this to show you. I will show you a photo. I'll insert a photo here of where, you know, they're actually in use in someone's cabinet. But you could get two that oval ones that fit on top of these. And see, there's no additional bulk. Like this is, there's just nothing to, to provide extra bulk. So you're gonna be able to fit the most amount in one cabinet. So especially if you're tight on space, I think this is a great option for you. And I mean, I should mention, I said it seals tight, but it truly does. Like your crackers are not gonna go stale in here. It is an airtight seal. 
So I love that, unlike the Oxos, and also very safe. Like it's not going anywhere. I'm not worried that with flour, it's going to spill. Also, the sizes are ideal. One of these will fit an entire bag of flour. They have a slightly shorter one that does an entire bag of sugar. They have lots of smaller ones for like baking soda, baking powder, cocoa, things like that. So really, you can get as many sizes as you need and they'll fit together ideally. One other thing that I don't love is there's a little hard to buy Tupperware. Like they do sell some Tupperware branded items in say stores and Target, but not these, they're called modular mates. They do not sell those in stores. So you're gonna to have to order them online. I think you can just go to the website these days. You don't necessarily have to have a consultant, although I think you can. Um, so that's one slight downside. The other thing that drives me completely crazy is that they like to do this thing where they change the colors of their lids. Like why, why? Because I buy this and then I wanna buy some three years later and they're a different color. Now I have heard, however, that they've standardized and they typically always have the black nowadays. I think that's true. If someone is a Tupperware consultant, I feel certain that some, some Tupperware consultant somewhere is watching this, please enlighten me and let me know. But I'm pretty sure that they do now have a black that they're always gonna carry. It's what I've heard. So correct me if I'm wrong, You know, fact check me on that one. But if that's the case, I'm sold because then I can keep getting more. And I really don't care that the look is not quite as modern because it's gonna be so much more practical. So I would love to hear from you what are your favorite food storage containers? Like I said, I haven't found the perfect one. Maybe you have, I would love to know what it is. And then I will send you to watch my video on, I have an entire video where I go even more in depth on these containers and some other home edit products from Walmart, which is one of my favorite lines. So you can go ahead and check that video out next.